Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. I'm Carrie and this is Carrie Digital, your channel for female entrepreneurs and side hustlers who want to monetize their skills online to achieve financial flexibility and freedom. In today's video, I'll be giving you a Canva tutorial. It's been so long guys, I'm so excited. I'm a Canva certified creative and I love to share everything I know about Canva and how I utilize Canva, including the tips, the acts and the tricks. In today's tutorial, I'll be showing you how to make your worksheet or workbook fully fillable. Like, yeah, you get that? Fully fillable. So you definitely want to stick around to learn all the little hacks and tricks as well as the tools I utilize to make my workbook fillable. So guys, before we jump into today's video, I'm on a new mission, which is I'm on a journey to 1K. Help me to get 1K subscribers in 30 days. Like, yes guys. So I want you to like this video, comment on this video, share this video, and of course, subscribe. Help me to reach 1K in 30 days. I'm counting on you guys. I have so many awesome tips, hacks, tricks, and things that I've literally learned over the years that I love to share with my female entrepreneurs and side hustlers. So I'm looking forward to your support. Okay guys, so let's get right into it. The first thing you need to ensure is that you have a workbook or worksheet. This workbook or worksheet can be as small as one page, as long as multiple pages. And I'll speak more in terms of the file size and the number of pages further down. All right. In terms of your worksheet and your workbook, you want to ensure that your document have section that is fillable, right? Meaning you should have text boxes. So if your document doesn't have any text boxes, it can still work. But if you have text boxes, it is much easier. All right. So let me exit this and let's save this document. We're going to save this document or should I say download this document as a PDF. Now, there are two ways you can download it. You can download it as a PDF standard or a PDF print. In this case, we're going to save it as a smaller file size just to make it a little more compressed and save it as PDF standard. And this is 10 page document. So you'll see how it works for me. You can save it on your desktop or wherever you desire. All right. And I'm saving it on my desktop. I'm going to also open it to show you what it looks like to show that it is not editable, right? Which means you can't make it fill. It's not fillable just yet. However, let's go to making it fillable. And the tool I utilize is PDF escape, which is a great, like great tool. Like I can't talk enough about how great this tool is. And the best thing about it is that it has a great free version that can be utilized use online and both as a desktop but we i'm using online and that's how i usually utilize it it can be used on chrome firefox edge internet explorer and so on and so forth so we're going to do the free version the thing is it also has an upgraded version so if you have like a bigger file size if you want it to be ad free so meaning you don't have any ads on the right or left hand side of the page you can spend your $2.99 per month, which I think is pretty reasonable and, you know, make it yours. Also, if, as I said, if your file size is, is bigger than 10 megabytes and is less than 100 pages, it is free to utilize. So the thing I'm going to do is upload my PDF to PDF Escape. You can simply drag and drop or you can simply choose a file. I'm going to choose a file in this case and I am choosing my tutorial copy. So one of the things about this platform, it might not have the most user friendly or modern look and feel of the platform, but quite honestly, it is easy to use and very, very straightforward. I'm just going to walk you through just a simple um, flow of the page. So you can get an idea of what happens where and so on and so forth. The first thing we're going to look at is the left hand tab where we have our insert, where we see our text box 
we have our free and which means these are things that you can literally insert on your PDF document. Then we have the annotate tab where you can add your sticky notes, you can highlight, you can strike, you can insert and so on and so forth. And then we also have page. So if your document was uploaded and it wasn't in the right format or orientation, I should say, then you can simply orientate to the right or rotate to the right and make the necessary adjustments before you start making the document fillable. So we're going to go back to the insert tab, but before I do that or any edits at all, I'm going to show you can also upload your file here. You can also load it from a URL. You can also view your recent uploads. You can share it as well. And of course you can change your view of your document, you know, to just make it the best view for you. So let's get right into it guys. All right. So as you said, you can see that my document here is ready to be made, made fillable. The tab we're going to utilize is form field. I select form field and form field creation tool has many types. You can use your text, text paragraph, check boxes, radio, drop down, list box, reset button, submit button. What I love about this platform and this tool generally is that you can make your application form fillable. You can make your worksheets, your checklists, your workbooks, so many things fillable just by using, utilizing this tool. And for this particular tutorial, I'll be using the, the text, text paragraph as well as the checkbox. All right, so let's get right into it. I'm selecting text, select. So I'm gonna go and I'm gonna zoom in a little here. What I like to ensure is that my document is always neat and I'm going to show you how easy this is to use. I'm going to drag from the left and corner of the box and to the full extent of the box and bam, like how easy was that? I'm going to do another one for you here and bam. So I can literally do this in less than five seconds, to be honest. It takes literally nothing for you to do, especially if your document is a one pager or just under 10 pages. And again, it all depends on how long your document is. All right. I'm going to also show you how you can make your box editable, your document editable for a bigger box, which is right here. Bam. Just saying you make a mistake and you put the text box in the wrong place, you can simply delete. Also, if you want to make your check a checklist section, you can simply select form field and then you select check box, select, and then I do it here. Another one here. And bam. So we have an editable document here. I haven't done the entire document. I just wanted to give you a gist of how you can do it. But before you go, you want to ensure you save your document. So we're going to go save. So it's actually saved and we can then download. I would suggest saving this document as a different name so you can know the difference. I'm going to open the document. So we can see the editable version and you'll see the clear distinction between the tab or the section that is editable and the section that isn't. The section that is fillable is normally like have a gray scale or overshadow. And I'm going to show you how you can put it here. Your text goes here and enter. And it is so easy to use guys. And for the checkbox section, you can simply click on and off. And this is perfect for coaches, teachers, just persons who want to make their documents editable. If you have a website and you want persons to download a form before they submit, this is also a great way to make your document editable. So as I said, you can do this in literally five seconds per text box, if so much. And bam, there you have it, guys. Thanks for watching this tutorial. If you have any questions at all about 
how you can create your own worksheet or workbook, you definitely can send me an email or put a comment in the box. Also, I have this workbook available on my website at Templates by Kerry, which is my template shop where I create Canva templates for my female entrepreneurs who want to save time, save money, and save coins. This is perfect for persons who want to engage their audience online, but they don't have the time, the skills, or the resources to do it from scratch. So it was my pleasure, guys, to share with you this tutorial. And as I said, if you have any questions, you definitely want to reach out to me. Until next time, bye.